has closed captioned in English and Spanish subtitles. Hello, travelers. Welcome, everybody. This is Anthony, also known as the Travel Droner. Here on this channel, we create videos discussing amazing travel facts and amazing destinations. Join us on our journey around the world by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new video. In today's video, we are going to list out the top 10 places to visit when you are in Spain. So sit back and stay with us till the end to add some new goals to your bucket list. Well, let's get started. Spain has always been one of the most beloved tourist destinations, not only in Europe, but also all over the world. Stunning waterfronts, delightful cuisine, rich nightlife, and vibrant fiestas are some of the aspects that make Spain one of Europe's best escapes. Number one, Barcelona. The best time to visit Barcelona is from May to June. Barcelona is both historic and outrageous at the same time. From the beautiful trails of the multicolored Park Well to the exotic hallways of Barigote, visit the Picasso Museum, stroll along Las Rambla and a one-mile pedestrianized boulevard. From the beachside clubs to the city's holy churches and architectural wonders, this city by the sea attracts millions of tourists every year. Numerous things to do. In Barcelona, Spain, Spanish and Catalan are both accepted languages. English is also spoken. If you are in Barcelona, you'll notice path and highway signs in both Catalan and Spanish languages, as well as some cafe cards. As such, Barcelona citizens are inclined to be bilingual. Number two, Grenada. Situated at the base of the Sierra Nevada mountains of Southern Spain, Grenada is the capital of the Grenada territory, a mid-sized city Grenada is known for the perfect variety of sensational locations, popular traditions, and an active nightlife. And above all, it is the residence of the Alhambra, a palace and fortress complex, and is one of the tremendous architectural scenes of Europe. The place is also known for its tapas. Tapas can be found anywhere in Spain, but one of the promising spots to experience this culinary tradition is in Grenada. Contrary to the country's other prime spots like Madrid or Barcelona, Grenada possesses the tale of tapas in its actual form, which is buy a drink and get a free round of tapas. For those who are new, tapas can be defined as an appetizer or snack, and in the Spanish convention, you get an appetizer or plate of tapas with every drink you buy at a bar. The best time to visit Grenada is in May and June, as well as September and October. From May to June, climates are steady, flowers are completely bloomed, and some of the city's greatest cultural exhibitions fill up the calendar. Number three, Seville. The adequate time to visit Seville is from March to May. During these months, the temperatures are favorable, the rush of traffic hasn't started yet, and the motels tend to give decent discounts. In Seville, the expense of food, drinks, and leisure is incredibly low as opposed to other Spanish cities. Some of the best tapas plates can be enjoyed for just one or two euros. The enthusiasm of a flamenco dancer, the devotion of a bullfighter matador, is one of the most celebrated and romanticized memories of Spain. These artistic ceremonies are central aspects of life in Seville and throughout the country's southernmost Andalusia territory, a city imprinted by Jewish, Islamic, and Christian influences. Seville shows an indication of each religion's dignity in its church facades, minarets, and former ghettos. Number four, Madrid. Spain's capital and biggest city, Madrid is commonly known for its superheated night lifestyle. The city comprises of a variety of ethnic communities, making it one of Europe's most vibrant and sophisticated cities. Madrid is a wonderful city created with ancient and recent architecture. The capital constitutes numerous areas addressing its distinct identity and attractions varying from memorable quarters to older crowd neighborhoods, university areas, multicultural regions, and party scenes. Yes, Madrid is for visitors interested in popular paintings and incredible architecture, but it's also, and maybe more so, for those looking for an unhurried good time. People of Madrid adore living life to the fullest, much like the rest of Spain. They don't live to work, but they work to live. Visitors staying in Madrid will discover this obvious thing soon upon their arrival. When the climate is good, tourists will watch mobs of Spaniards eating out al fresco along the city's avenues for hours on end and laying out on a blanket with loved ones in Parque Retiro. At night, irrespective of the season, the city truly comes alive when its locals get off work and party all night. The best time to visit Madrid is in the fall, September to November, or spring, March to May, when milder temperatures blow through the city, making it come alive. Number five, Majorca. The vastest of Spain's Balearic Islands, Majorca, 
is surrounded by the radiant waters of the Mediterranean with rugged cliffs, secluded inlets, and gorgeous beaches covering its shores, a prominent traveler destination. The island is facilitated with warm and greeting weather and an abundance of terrific scenery. The island's main city and capital are Palma de Mallorca. There's a lovely old town for tourists to explore with curving slim streets and centuries old buildings beneath its grand Gothic cathedral. The most convenient way to explore Mallorca is by car. Rent at your arrival, one, and start exploring this unique island. Buses are also an option too, but the benefit is restricted, primarily on weekends. In towns like Palma, there are a lot of taxis, but these are more of an alternative for inner city outings rather than for island treks. The best time to visit Mallorca is from March to May. Number six, Valencia. The city is situated in the eastern region of the country. It is packed with restored heritage establishments that contain beautiful churches, old sanctuaries such as San Miguel de los Reyes, and the territory of a historical silk exchange center known today as the Silk Exchange Market. Although it has years concealing in the shades of bigger cities, Valencia now proposes a combination of Madrid's history and Barcelona's stylish environment for a fraction of the cost. The city is also famous for its orange groves. Don't forget to take your chance to test this juicy fruit the way Valencians do. If you're hoping for some refreshing snack after a tiring day of sightseeing, just consider ordering an Aqua de la Valencia, a cocktail commonly made from gin, vodka, cava, Spanish sparkling wine, sugar, and freshly squeezed orange juice at a sidewalk cafe. Talking about the favorable seasons, the best time in Valencia is in April and May. It is the sweet spot full of warm weather with bunches of crazy folks. Number seven, San Sebastian. San Sebastian is the capital of the Gipscucoa region, placed in the Basque country of North Spain, off the beaches of the Bay of Biscay. San Sebastian is one of the most underrated spots in Spain. Citizens realize its nobility, and every summer they come to this coast for its breathtaking shorelines, hiker-friendly peaks, and unique foodie scene that's world famous for its pintos. This gorgeous coastal city is well known for its uh, terrific seasides and impressive culinary ceremonies. Although it is uh, distributed into various districts, San Sebastian is a small, warm city filled with restaurants, pinto bars, designer shops, and an enclosed mall. The best time to visit San Sebastian is from May to July. While the majority of this period falls during the high tourist season, these months offer the best temperatures. Number 8. Ibiza the third largest of the Balearic Islands, Ibiza, is located off the east coast of Spain, enclosed by the shining waters of the Mediterranean. While it is famous for its whacking nightlife and summer club scene, which entices world-renowned DJs to its shores, the island has several other distinct sides. Pine-clad hills conceal quaint villages, secluded inlets hide family-friendly waterfronts, eateries tempt with conventional Balearic foods, and sellers hawk everything from leather goods to olive oils in the local markets. The best time to visit Ibiza is from May to October. Number 9. Bilbao The biggest city in Spain's basket country, Bilbao, lies on an estuary just 16 kilometers south of the Bay of Biscay. Famous as one of the most significant architectural endeavors of its time, the Guggenheim Museum now glows as Bilbao's city symbol. Bilbao sits in the middle of a luxurious valley, offering great views of the city and its rolling hills. Bilbao was known as a crucial seaport and an industrial city in northern Spain until the construction of an architectural marvel in the 1990s known as the Guggenheim Museum. Since then, this capital city of Vizcaya has encountered a bang in tourism, facilitating economic development and rebirth of its many hidden treasures, making it a prominent destination to visit on your trip to Spain. Number 10. Canary Islands. This clump of Spanish islands located off the northwestern coast of Africa is one of Spain's prominent beach locations. Situated in the North Atlantic Ocean off the southwest coast of Morocco, when I was in City Inthony, I could see the Canary Islands from the Moroccan shore. In extension to sultry shorelines, all seven islands in this archipelago of the Canary Islands are also bursting with outside temptations that will make any adventurer faint out comprising three national parks in between trekking and loosening up on the beach. Take some time to walk the neighborhoods of Santa Cruz or Las Palmas to get a flavor of local life. The best times to visit the Canary Islands are between March and May and from September to November. So that was today's videos, guys. Thanks a ton for watching it. 
Let us know how you liked it in the comment section. Also, do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned as we bring more intriguing content to your screens. Till then, hustle hard and take care. Peace.